Hey everybody, it's me, TDS, Truck Driver Sean. So today we're going to do a shootout of five of the top pedals that I have done reviews of so far in the preamp high gain territory. Some of them are not preamps, but they behave like preamps. So if you all been watching my series, it's getting pretty in depth. There will be more. We're going to call this number one. And there'll be a number two and maybe a number three because there's a lot of people asking me to get certain pedals. Um, if anybody watching this, if you're the trusting type, uh, I need an Apex by Precision Drive, uh, Horizon Devices. I need an Apex. I need a Seymour Duncan Power Stage. Uh, there was one, it was the, uh, Ubershaw pedal. And someone wanted me to do one of the angle pedals. So, I need those, um... Riviera Amps is going to, uh, once they get their stock in, are going to be sending me a Shaman Metal pedal to uh, use here on the channel. So that'll be another five pedals. I also have, <laughs> no thanks to Eris FX, but found somebody that didn't want the Eris FX anymore. I'm going to end up with their uh, um, Nemesis preamp. So that will make it on here. Um, I'm not pitting these against one another to give the finger to any of them. Every single one of these have their place and they all do things very well. I'm just stacking up against one another to uh, showcase kind of what they do in reference to one another. I have not monkeyed with this whatsoever. I've done my individual reviews now. They're all in a daisy chain. Uh, the five pedals that we will be speaking of. Which, by the way, I think I can flip it around, but I'm not positive. Matter of fact, I know I can't because I use the front-facing thing on my cell phone. But anyway, we have the Diesel Hubert preamp pedal, the Rev G4 uh, preamp pedal. That's the red one, in case you don't know. We have the KSR Series preamp, the Friedman BEOD, the dope original one. And a one out of three ever made high wind black mesa, which by the way, if the high wind guys are watching this, you my god, you gotta make that thing. It's an amazing pedal. Alright, so let's see what these things sound like. We're gonna use a six string in half step down in drop D format because I'm a one finger guitar player, because I'm a I don't know, I'm useless with it, I guess. Try it. Be she sharp for all you folks out there that seem to need to know. And I'll be using an 8-string Jericho in actual standard tuning. Because uh, for some reason I don't do the one-finger thing on the 8-string. I have no idea why not. I have no idea. Um, if you're interested in the Rev pedals, just because I want to help my boy out. Ike, Flipside Music, he sells Rev stuff. You can also go through Rev directly. Uh, but if you want to help a local business and you happen to be in the Denver, Colorado area... Or if you're the type likes to buy things online, which technically, if you're going to buy it online, you probably should go through Rev. But don't want to take business away from Ike either. He's a good guy. I live in Maine, so obviously it's not my local shop. He's just a guy that's always been super generous. And uh, I've seen him treat people well for many a year at this point. And he's just a good guy, does good business. He's super fair. And yeah, how can you not like Ike? You meet that guy once and he's like your best friend. He's a good dude. The sounds normally come from the Seymour Duncan power stage, but I don't know what happened to it. I turned it on. It got real hot. It was flickering in and out. So, yeah, that's a bummer. It's called happenstance. Fate. Whatever you want to call it. Because I reached out to Seymour Duncan and they're not very helpful. Um, I'm using the Boss Katana. 100 watt 2 by 12 just using the straight up clean channel everything at noon time it's just there for the sound that's it so let's uh let's tinker around with it we'll turn some knobs it's going to be an annoying video i promise you it's going to be annoying it's going to be nauseating probably so yeah say uh 2017 PRS S2 single cut, in case you're wondering what kind of guitar it is. 
Diodario strings and guitars made for me by Intune Guitar Picks. The Cleans. Regular channel one on the uh, Hubert. <laughs> Fifty percent on the low gauge. <laughs> All right, and full gorilla dick on the diesel Huber. <laughs> by the way. Again, regular channel. Alright, to the rev, we're gonna do the Gain stage is off, everything at noontime, except for the mids I have dialed back just a little bit. Rev on the blue channel. which is, I believe, the lead. And the KSR on the blue channel. All right. I do not have a noise gate or anything set up either. Just uh, just y'all know. Oh. Uh, forgot to put the gain on 50% on the BEOD. All right. So, oh, I gotta turn the tight down too. There we go. Everything at noon time on the Friedman BEOD. <laughs> Thank you. 
high wind amplification. Oh, we got a. I guess I didn't turn these knobs like I thought I did. All right, everything at noon time on the high wind black mesa. <laughs> That's tight, son. All right, so let's turn some knobs and tailor the sound a little bit. So we're gonna go back to the Hubert. Got that regular low gain setting. That's a pretty good rock sound right there. Let me tell you what, son. Chunky Chunky. Alright, so when you go to the higher gain channel you have something that they call the mid cup master and the mid cup boost kind of gives you a little different flavor so let's play around with that for a little bit G4. We are uh, going to go to the off position. Let's play around with this a little bit. Uh, this is the low gain setting on the Rev G4. Play 
around with the textures on that a little bit. Let's give her a little bit of base. We're going to cut the mids just a little bit. Going to give her a little more of the, uh, of the treble. And let's give her a little... 60 seems to be my favorite place for gain on these pedals. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Go up to the blue channel. It's a little bit thicker, but I kind of like where all the all the knobs are turned right now. Except for like the low end doesn't have that thump. Now I've been very privileged enough to play through a rev rev generator 120, I believe it was, and it has a thump that's not in a lot of amps. It's a very unique thump for metal and hard rock it, it's amazing so let's let's turn this bass up just a little bit see if we get a little bit of thump up. <laughs> channel is ridiculous all right so let's kick this down a little bit here a little bit there a little bit there secret sauce let me tell you what son <laughs>
So on to the KSR. Switch, put in the middle. Mode switch all the way up. Oh, that killed what was going on. Mode switch all the way down. And then the feel all the way down. That's nice. Feel all the way up to the top. That's a little too tight for me, so we're going to put that in the middle. Then we have a, a bright switch all the way down. Right switch up. All right, gain is at sixty uh, percent. Then cranks a bass on that because that's so tinny. We gotta turn the treble down. Jesus, if that's a fifty. We gotta go twenty-five on the treble. And we gotta cut the mids right out of it. We gotta dime those mids right out. gain let's go 75% gain <laughs> Take it from there. All right. So the rhythm channel, which I think sounds more like the lead channel, but what the hell do I know? All right. And that's the gain, seventy-five percent. It's, it's a nice gain structure. So, this is a really, 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 really bright, bright amp. So let's, or bright pedal. So let's turn that bright switch down. Alright, 
Alrighty. On to the Freedmen. Freedmen, everything was at 50%. bass on there. I got the bass at like 60%. Alright. I can't solo to save my dick. Pretty good, right? We can all agree on that. Now for the High Wind Black Mesa. Only three of these ever made, so it's really not fair to put it in this shootout, but you know what? I got it. I reviewed it. I love it. Um, I think High Wind should make more of them. I really want to try more High Wind stuff. Just cause This is, like, really good. And, yeah. I was just shocked when I plugged it in. Said I'd never heard of them before. That's kind of shocking, right? <laughs>
All right, so I'm gonna change guitars over here. We're gonna grab the eight string. We're gonna put the Paul Reed Smith up. All right, so uh, just a brief moment I'd like to take here to thank Rev Amplification for uh, sending me out the G4 when I asked to borrow it and they just flat out gave it to me. That is pretty awesome. I was not expecting that. It is a, it, I could not ask to work with a better company. Uh, it, I can't wait to physically give them some money. Uh, they deserve that. Uh, second person I'd like to thank is Anthony Best, who sent me a slew of pedals, and I've never even met that guy in person. we just been internet buddies for a couple of years. And Anthony, thank you so much. This, this first round would not exist without you. Uh, almost all these pedals are Anthony's. Or was Anthony's. <laughs> now more of them are Got five of them. Two of them I got sent back. I really like to keep that high wind. Jesus. The guys from high wind are watching this. It's, it's okay to make a fourth one. Call it no foe. Just put no foe on it. And you can send it to the fat man, alright? And, uh... The KSR thing, I will say as a side note, I do not know if this is the same as the production model because Anthony got that at 2019 NAM, and I reached out to KSR, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I I just asked a question, and I figured I would have gotten back to, but this is also a weird time in everybody's lives, so they very well could not be dealing with anything to do with business, especially not some asshole asking questions. But uh. All five of these pedals on a six string are fantastic. They all do their own little unique thing. As far as the six string aspect goes, I've got to say they're tailored for my sound. What I like to get, this is with no overdrive pedal. Overdrive pedal could change the whole game on this, but as far as the pedals stand alone, which is what this is about, my favorite out of all of them for a six string, is the Rev G4. It just, it's clean. You can do the modern metal like so good with it on that red channel. It's just punchy. I'd like to see it a little bit clearer, but uh, everybody keeps telling me, try the Rev G3. So probably the first chunk of money I give Rev is going to be for a G3 pedal. Because uh, if that many people are telling you to try a Rev G3, probably should. I don't know why this thing's going crazy with the autofocus. I apologize. And if you get sick from seeing that, well, you should have been sick already from seeing my fat lard ass here playing guitar. All right. So the Jericho 8 string, standard tuning. No muckery going on whatsoever with that. It's just straight up standard tuning. So here's the clean. Six string. So let's let's play around.
Rev G4, we're going to start in the off settings, the same as it was for the six string. <laughs> But I want these pedals to look the way they look without being colored or anything. <laughs> on the KSR series. <laughs> Thank you. 
Friedman. B E O D. Mesa. string action on there um eight string i gotta go with the ksr series that that pedal just fucking slays for the eight string it really keeps everything super tight it's got the gain structure seems to work so well with it and uh it's just a rock star um uh, it sounds good enough that i'd like to have one but then again Hey, everyone keeps telling me about the G4 by Rev. And none for nothing. Kind of like support companies that support nobodies. You know? They were super kind and sent me that G4 pedal. So I'd like to try a, a G3. And if that can get the tightness that that KSR series has, I don't mind running two pedals because I use a Boss multi-switcher. So I could use the G4 and the G3. And it takes up just as much room as the series. For the same amount of money, you can buy both the Rev G4 and G3 as you can if you buy the series. Um, that's not saying anything bad against the other pedals. I will say, though, the Diesel Hubert for the 8-string, no bueno. It, it, you do not belong playing an 8-string on that. It is not tailored whatsoever to an 8-string. 
Um, if you're going to play extended range, I would stay away from the Diesel Hubert. All right. The Rev G4 is amazing. I think with an overdrive pedal that could tighten it up like the Precision Drive, I think that could sound good. Or running in tandem with the G3, if it, the G3 is as tight as everybody's talking about, could actually be the solution. And then you could still use an overdrive pedal on both the G4 and G3 to really get that good, robust sound. The uh, the KSR series, I'm not a fan with the six string. It's just too damn bright. And I, I had the trouble, that even with the eight string, the trouble's turned almost all the way off. It's just super bright. And like I said, I don't know if it's a, if it's modded differently because it was a special for Nam. Um, I messaged KSR. They just never got back to me, so I don't have that information for you at the time of this video. But for an extended range, it's really nice. That if you're playing 7 and 8 string or beyond, or if you're playing lower than fucking dirt, that, that pedal right there you need in your life. It's that good. And you don't need an amp. You can literally use a Seymour Duncan Power Stage and that pedal right there and jam anywhere you want, anytime. It, it's with extended range, I think it's wonderful. The BEOD, I'm going to say, is a good all around pedal. And if you hook a precision drive up to it, I think it's going to be ridiculous. And the High Wind Black Mesa, uh, I'm not a thief, but man, have I contemplated a few times stealing that from Anthony Best. <laughs> All jokes aside, that I'd never steal from Anthony. I'd never steal from anybody. Yeah, I fucking hate thieves. But the high wind pedal is amazing. Um, about the only thing that could really help that pedal is a tight. If you could have a tight knob. If that thing had a tight knob, it'd be unstoppable. I mean, literally unstoppable. You would... That pedal would just decimate everything. But as... It's modeled after a dual rectifier, and it's modeled. Personally, I think that little touch that the dual rectifier by Mesa is missing, that pedal has. That pedal's magic. And uh, just so people know out there, definitely go check out Anthony Best on YouTube. Follow him on Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. He's going to be selling his whole Highwind collection, I think. He, he's like me. He gets gear, and then he gets rid of it. Me, I've gotten to the point now where I, I don't really buy a lot of gear. I borrow gear so I can do these videos. <laughs> Let's face it, 2,500 sus subscribers, no one's giving me anything. Well, except for Rev. Rev did. That was fucking phenomenal. But what they did was kind of smart, I guess. They, they made a, a fan for life, man. Because I would have never got my hands on that pedal, probably, and to know how good it is. That Rev G4 is worth every bit of that $229. And you can get it everything. You get it through Rev, you can get it. Guitar Center, Sweet Well, you can get that damn pedal everywhere. Um, I'm really curious to try the G3. And I really think that uh, from what everybody's telling me, and like, not to knock on the KSR, if you like a really bright tone, I don't. I like a mud, I'm a rhythm guy, and I, I uh, the dirtier and muckier it is, the more it hides up my shitty playing. So having something really bright, that's a personal preference thing. But I will say, for the extended range, that KSR kicks ass. And, uh, I'm thinking that Rev G3, I'll get that same effect because it'll be a little tighter. And using the extended range instruments, I think that I will find that if the G3 and the G4 do it, I think I'd rather do that because for a six string, I really like the G4. And for eight string, the G4 just really it, it has... It sounds good, like you could gig with it for sure, but having that little bit of tightness, man, to, so you can have that clarity while you're chugging away on strings, to me that's important when you're playing, you know, a fucking bass string on a guitar. <laughs> Anyhow, again, uh, thank you everybody for the support while watching these videos and checking them out and sharing them everywhere. Uh, it's fantastic. I, uh, I'm not a professional musician. I'm a truck driver, so I, I do this just for fun. It's just for fun. No one's paying me to do this shit. And uh, a huge thanks to the guys over at Rev Amplification for their donation of the G4 pedal. And an even greater thank you to Anthony Best who lent me six pedals to get my series started. And without him, the series wouldn't even get started. So Anthony's a huge help. Please go check out Anthony's 
YouTube channel. Give that guy some love. He's an amazing guy. And I like the way he does his videos. He has an interesting perspective. Uh, a lot of his views on stuff are right spot on. Maybe not the popular decision to talk about some of the things the way he does, but he's spot on. You can't tell him he's a liar. You know, so definitely support guys like that, you know. And uh, gear used, Jericho guitars, 8-string. Just nothing's been modded or anything. It's just the way they send it. Big old 600 bucks, I think, you can pay for one of these. Fantastic piece of gear. And the 2017 Paul Reed Smith S2 Single Cut and Purple Fire Mist, which we call the Shelly Lynn. Uh, just for those of you who don't know, which if you follow my channel, you've got to know, I lost my wife three years ago, and this was her absolute favorite color on the planet. And the day that, day after we uh, buried her, this was available to buy. And a lot of help from some awesome people on the internet made it possible for me to have this guitar. <clears throat> and I'll forever be thankful that I own this. And uh, anything purple, <laughs> I'm a sucker for it. I uh, miss that woman every day. Always miss that woman. Always will. And I use the Boss Katana 2x12 uh, combo. It's everything at noontime on the Clean Channel. No fuckery, no editing. You, nothing. You got 55 minutes of my dumb ass rambling on playing riffs. Hopefully you got a good idea of kind of like what these things will do when they're put up against one another. Like I said, nothing's really better than the other. They all have their own little thing that they do. Um... My end thing, if I had to have one pedal that did it all, well, it, when you, if you break it down from 6-string to 8-string, it's two different animals, right? I know for the 6-string, I'd want that Rev G4 every single time. Because uh, it's tight, it's modern, it really crushes. And for the 8-string, the KSR series... Um, is fantastic but if I had to find a middle of the road I guess I'd go with the G4 because I'm pretty positive with the G4 if I hook the precision drive up I could tighten up that that flubby top end of it that's there I could tighten it up and squeeze it with that precision drive and then that Rev4 will be fucking phenomenal alrighty so there you go that's almost an hour of my dumb ass if you're still holding on at this point thank you Holy shit. <laughs> All right. And uh, if you want to buy Rev stuff and you don't want to buy it from Canada for some reason and you're here in the States, which I don't know why you would have a problem with that, they are shipping stuff just fine. Flipside Music. Ike carries them. Ike doesn't give me nothing. He doesn't even know I'm talking about this right now. Matter of fact, Ike wants to give me something. Give me a fucking shirt that fits, dude. This thing's huge. <laughs> He gave me this like when I was like rolling heavy. So yeah. Ike, you want to give me something? Give me a fucking shirt that fits. <laughs> Love that guy. Ike's awesome. If you're in the Denver area, go see that guy. Flipside Music. Super awesome cat. And uh, check out for dealers and stuff. Like I said, if you type like me, you live and breathe by your Sweetwater card, Sweetwater has them. $229. I'll ship it right to your house in a couple days. Um, yeah. And KSR, I think you have to buy all their stuff, I think, direct from KSR. You can get the Diesel Huber everywhere, any online retailer. The Freeman BEOD, I believe, is the same thing. You can get it everywhere under the sun. The Highwind Black Mesa, you'll never get your hands on it unless you buy it from Anthony Best or whoever the other two guys are that are holding. If my thiefing skills were better. I'd have that son of a bitch. I really do like that pedal. I want to try more high wind stuff. I really want to try the Dire Wolf. I'm going to have that Dire Wolf on my channel, even if I have to borrow one. I will have one on here. Just because I, it's another one that people talk about. I think I'm going to do it specifically to overdrive pedals here in the future. And I'd like to get that one on there. Again, I will have a second round of this after I get my next set of reviews done. So, uh, yeah. Again, as always, check stuff out for yourself. Do not, these are my opinion, my playing. These are my hands touching the instrument when it's playing through this. If you play it, it's going to sound a little different. So yeah, I really do need a smaller shirt, Ike. 
I just looked at myself in the mirror and this thing's so big it makes me look like Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Wish I had a nice little hot chick right here. Princess Leher. Oh yeah. Anyhow, thanks everybody who helped. Thank you to everybody who watched. Again, support Red Amplification. Why? Because they're awesome. They're supporting little guys. So support little companies and support little guys because the big companies I sent messages out to, they didn't give a fuck. Rev did. That speaks volumes, my friends. Anyhow, Anthony Best, like that guy's YouTube channel. I have a link to it down here. All right? Later.